Viewers, welcome back to your favorite daily devotional. It's Rhapsody of Realities, of course. Now, we have been talking about what a life <laughs> what we a life. have. Yes. What a life he has given you. Eternal life. The God kind of life. Mm -hmm. The Zoe life. Um, wow. Yeah. That is mind-blowing. Yeah. And you know what, Ingrid? The, the, the natural mind is unable to fathom this. And even the religious mind they shy away from, if you say, that you have a God kind of life. And sometimes you wonder, which Bible do they read? <laughs> <laughs> and a great scripture that comes to mind right now is, Jesus says, as he is, so am I. As God is, so am I. Because I'm born of his word, sustained by his word, born of the life of God, walking in the life of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. So Pastor Chris is giving us uh, several examples of the life that God has given us through Jesus Christ. So he says, first, the Lord Jesus said in John 14, <coughs> verse 27, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. That means he has become your peace. Wow. Christ has yeah. become your peace. Yes. He wow. is peace. In adversity, <laughs> yeah. in every circumstance, yes. you know, you can trust in him. Wow. Yeah. Pastor continues and says, secondly, Psalm 27 verse 1 says, The Lord is the strength of my life. Amen. He is the strength. Nothing else is your strength. Amen. Your money is not your strength. Yeah. Uh, your job is not your strength. Your mm. spouse is not your strength. Mm -hmm. You know, the amount of houses you have, they are not your strength. Your mm -hmm. children are not your strength. Yeah, and going to the gym won't make you strong. <laughs> well, it could make you strong physically, but not spiritually. That's right. Yeah. The Lord is your strength. The Lord is our strength. Thirdly, he says, he is your health. Wow. The Lord is your health. Yeah. Isn't it amazing that Pastor Chris is saying, not that God is your healer. He says, God is your health. And that is amazing. That he's not just a personality that can heal you, but he's actually your health. Why is he your health? Because he actually lives in you. Isn't that amazing? You know, Pastor preached a message um, recently. And Pastor preached on uh, God is everything. Mm -hmm. He's everything you need. And, uh, you know, Pastor's just giving us examples here. Yeah. But... God is everything. Everything you need is wrapped up in Him, wrapped up in the Word. Mm. Wow, that is so powerful. What did He say to Moses? He said, tell Pharaoh that I am sent me. I am. He is the great I am. He says, I, I will be. I will be anything that you want me to be in a particular time in your life. He is the great I am. So you, I am like filling in a blank check. I am your healer. I am your peace. So you just fill in the blanks. Hallelujah. Whatever you want him to become. Praise it's beautiful. God. Hallelujah. Isaiah 33 verse 24 says, And the inhabitants of Zion shall not say, I am sick. Therefore, don't talk sickness because the Lord has given you health. Now, Pastor admonishes you to read 3 John chapter 1, verse 2 and meditate on it. Make sure you do that today. Uh, it's such a powerful verse mm -hmm. and uh, you will be blessed as you meditate and begin to speak that word forth today. Hallelujah. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. Great examples, great life. What a life. In addition, he's given you prosperity. Now, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 21 says, Therefore let no man glory in men, for all things are yours. That's quite a profound statement, isn't it? All things are yours. Then Philippians 4, 19, another example, tells us, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. These examples of your... Uh, showing you that life that we are talking about, that God kind of life. 
That means that there's no lack in your life. For the Lord supplies all you need. Psalms 1-3 describes you as a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth fruit in and out of season. And whatsoever you do shall prosper. Wow. You know, I love how Pastor now gives you the tools uh, to make this a reality, to make this glorious life a reality for you because he has said you need to come to a place of knowledge mm. of uh, this life. And um, he continues and says in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17, it says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Hallelujah. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Hallelujah. Now that you are born again, you are a bundle of success. Pastor Chris says you belong now in God's kingdom, his realm of life where Christ reigns. Amen. That is where you belong. You don't belong uh, anywhere else. You belong in Zion. Amen. You reign with him. You know, you rule this earth. Your life is wonderful. And as you meditate on those passages today, wow. <laughs> uh, you know that, that is you. You are you are really impacting your. Yeah. your you are investing in your future. Yeah, absolutely. Today. Yeah, yeah. And I'm raring to go and take what belongs to me. Yes. To grow from strength to strength, from glory to glory. Well, viewers, we have had a great, great devotional here. What a life that you may have life. Jesus said, "Wonderful." We're going to take a short break right now, viewers. And I know you've been blessed just as we have been. And uh, when we come back, we're going to pray a powerful and a life-transforming prayer. And uh, don't go away. We'll be back right soon. The Rhapsody of Reality's devotional study Bible has special features to aid an effective Christian life. Features like center column references, words of Christ in red, 96 page concordance to the Old and New Testament. This special Bible also features full colored pages of inspirational articles from Pastor Chris and Pastor Anita that will position you for a life of all-round success every day. So, for a most fruitful Bible study time, get the Rhapsody of Reality's devotional study Bible today. You can call now to start placing your orders or visit our website, www.ChristEmbassyOnlineStore.org. The Rhapsody of Reality's devotional study Bible is a must have. Hello viewers and welcome back to Rhapsody of Realities. Now it, this is your favorite devotional and uh, that's because the Word of God works, hallelujah. Mm. And you know, I love this devotional because it's so practical. Absolutely, It doesn't just yeah. give you the Word, yeah. it, uh, it allows you to see how to apply it and it gives you knowledge and understanding and wisdom. So I thank God for our man of God, Pastor Chris, uh, for Rhapsody of Realities. Uh, it's just given us so many beautiful scriptures. And you know what? You will not be able to digest them all today. Um, I really would like you to go back to the Word, go back to your Bible, mm -hmm. make sure you are reading every single passage, uh, and of course, make sure you do the further study. But before you do that, please join us for this prayer. If you can repeat after me, Dear Father, Dear Father, I thank you for victory. I thank you for victory. Success. Success. Excellence. Excellence. Health. Health. And prosperity. And prosperity. Are in my spirit. Are in my spirit. I walk in righteousness. I walk in righteousness. And exercise dominion. And exercise dominion. Over devils. Over devils. Sickness. Sickness. And the negativities. And the negativities. Of life today. Of life today. And always. And always. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> What a prayer. Wow. You what know, a prayer. I, I'm just so privileged to be able to pray that prayer yes. with people and yeah. to run this race yeah. with other people in the body of Christ Amen. is such a privilege. Yes. Thank God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And if you're watching us and you're not born again, you know, that's a great life for you. 
you can simply, in the privacy of your home, in the privacy of your room, you can call upon the name of the Lord. Jesus, the Bible says, call on the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. And you will enjoy this great life that we are speaking about. God bless you. Hallelujah. Now, for those uh, of our viewers who want to uh, do a further study, there are some great scriptures that you can look at and meditate upon. That's Romans 5, uh, verses 17 for you. We have already mentioned that earlier on. And then we go 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 2, verses 14. And viewers, if you are doing the one-year Bible reading plan, there's 1 Timothy chapter 4, verses 1 to 16 for you. And also from the Old Testament, Isaiah 57 and 58. That's chapters 57 and 58. Those of you who are following this uh, two-year Bible reading plan, we have Hebrews chapter 11, uh, verses uh, 1 to 16, and Ezekiel chapter 21. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, what a life you have been called to yes, live. Yes, yes. Make sure you live it purposefully, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, full of prosperity. A life that uh, is a, uh, you know, a sickness and disease fighting life. Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful and glorious life, isn't it? It's absolutely. marvelous. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And we are enjoying it. Yes. Yeah, it's an everyday reality. Yeah. Now, wow. Uh, again, we would like you uh, to comment on your most favorite articles. Make sure you log on to your course. Join the Rhapsody of Reality group and uh, leave your comments. We would like to listen to them. We would like to read them. Uh, they, are, they are such a blessing to others on the UCOS community. And um, I know that uh, you would love to just uh, share your most favorite article with us. Yeah. Now, until we meet again, yes. keep reading your the Rhapsody, Rhapsody of, of Realities. Realities. And God, God bless, bless you. you.